So the Lord really has given me a really good message um, for not only my heart, but he's telling me to share it before I go to bed. And that, that's what I'm going to do. So y'all need to read Hebrews 11, either before or after this video, and it'll give you a lot more context. And I titled this by faith, and I'm just going to read it straight up from my notes. Faith in him is never vain. He is faithful to his promises. By faith, Abel worshiped God based on his standards and expectation, and he teaches us that through the blood, we can access God's presence. By faith, Enoch did not die, but it was taken away because God was pleased by him because of his faith. Believe by faith and seek with all your heart. We cannot serve him unless we believe in his ways and his thoughts are higher than ours. We must trust the Lord enough to live at the center of his will, even if it's impossible or looks impossible to the human eye. By faith, Noah took God seriously and acted on his uh, command and delivered his family. By faith, Abraham, when called, he, was, he obeyed, and he found the foundation, the architect, and the builder that God is. By faith, Sarah shows us that when God doesn't com uh, when God, wow, when God does not complete what he wants to do in your life, he waits until you are spiritually prepared. These people mentioned above are seeking a better something, but when their approach to life changes from their perspective to the perspective of knowing the one who is preparing a better place for you, um, you'll realize that you that they can only survive they can survive any way or anything. We must look beyond what is in front of us to what God sees, because He is uh, because He is faithful and will fulfill all His promises. The opposite of faith it does not uh, is not doubt, but disobedience. Tony Evans. By faith, Abraham sacrificed Isaac. He considered that God was able to raise the dead. God will test how much you love him, and do you love the giver or the gift? By faith, Isaac blessed his sons. So make sure you pass good things to your children and grandchildren. By faith, Moses refused to be called a son of sin slash Pharaoh. Moses found the reward of godliness always surpasses the pleasure for sin. By faith, Arab's willingness to align herself with God brought her from a prostitute to the bloodline of the Son of God, next to Abraham, in faith. The world did not approve of them, and the world was not worthy of them, but God applauded them through their faith. We are called to continue their work of faith as we are, um, are, as we are to seek God's will on earth. It is my faith in him that allows me to walk. I can have faith in a lot of things, but I will not get far. Without faith, it is impossible to please him, and he will reward our faith if you place it in him.